Apple enthusiasts, brace yourselves. After the impressive debut of the M2 iPad Pro and iPad 10 last October, the Apple rumor mill has been abuzz with anticipation. The Cupertino giant seems to have broken its silence and the latest insider information suggests that the next big revelation from Apple's labs will be in the iPad Air department. Get ready for not one, but two new versions of the iPad Air, marking Apple's bold move to provide users with choices that suit their connectivity preferences. Let's delve into the technical details. The code names for these intriguing tablets are G57 and G58 for the Wi-Fi versions and G537 and G538 for the cellular options. Apple's decision to offer different connectivity options signals a strategic move to cater to a diverse user base. But what else do we know about these mysterious tablets? Our sources hint that G57 and G58 are likely to be the successors of the iPad Air 5, ushering in the era of iPad Air 6. This exciting update means that a cutting-edge chip will replace the M1, promising even more power for Apple's beloved mid-range tablet. Now let's unravel the mystery behind G537 and G538. These devices have the tech community speculating, with one theory suggesting that they could be the larger versions of the iPad Air. While the current iPad Air 5 boasts a 10.9-inch display, Apple might be thinking bigger, a more expensive variant with superior specifications. However, it's crucial to remember that we're navigating the landscape of rumors and speculations. Exciting as it is, every piece of information should be taken with a grain of salt, considering Apple's plans can change swiftly. So, here's the burning question. Could Apple be orchestrating a game changer in its airline? Currently, the iPad Pro holds the spotlight with multiple versions featuring 11 and 12.9 inch models. With these new developments, the iPad Air might be gearing up to steal the show. Could we be witnessing a shift in the iPad universe? Where the iPad Air takes center stage? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'll do my best to respond to as many as possible. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop.